Hello, welcome to Makat TV. Um, today is Revelation. Let's get right into it. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Definition of Revelation. A surprising and previously unknown fact that has been disclosed to others. Revelation about his personal life. That's an example of it. Disclosure. Surprising fact. Okay. The second description the divine or supernatural disclosure to humans of something relating to human existence an example an attempt to reconcile darwinian theories with biblical revelation anyway let's get into it that's the definition of revelation i have a personal revelation that i want to share with you and please viewers kindly be reminded that this revelation that I want to share with you is specific and individualistic and is personal to me. So there is no insinuations, there is no innuendos, it's not attached to any religious sect or group, it's not attached or you know pointed out to any individual religious person or religious bishop or anything like that. It's a personal experience that I want to share with you. So please, don't misinterpre misinterpret what I'm talking about. Don't misconstrue what I'm trying to explain to you. It's something personal that I want to share with you. And the revelation today that I want to share with viewers is that I had that drop, that divine drop in my spirit that God, the Christians will say God, the Chinese will say Tianzu. The Indians will say Brahma. The Muslims will say Allah. And of course, God, as you know, the Christians will say that. But I will, I will generalize it and say that the creator who created the universe, the solar system, the galaxy, the universal being the supernatural being and this is all about telling me specifically that he doesn't need anything from any individual any creature that he created he doesn't need anything from us all he needs is our acknowledgement that he is a supernatural creator who created heaven and earth and everything in it and the galaxy way and the in the in the universe and the second thing is that he wants us to just um thank him give him thanks for everything that he does for us so first of all acknowledgement second of all thanksgiving and then third praise him that's it that's all he needs from us so all that i'm trying to say is that all these biblical facts that are coming, all these doctrines that are coming, that um, tithing, they need money from individuals that attend churches and all that. Personally, as this revelation came to me, it doesn't cut it. Because one, he is the one who created the earth. Apart from all the millions and billions and, and millions of species all around the globe, he created bauxite, he created gold, he created manganese, titanium, platinum, uh, oil. He, he, he has it all, diamonds. So how can a supernatural being with that um, power need your money? Please, can you take a minute and then ponder over what I'm talking about? And then analyze it logically to, to, to ascertain the facts from what I'm talking about. He, and, and, and when it comes to biblical and religious facts, there are so many books that talk about various gods, the God of Israel, the God of Ghana, the God of America. Every country has a God. So it was a collective God, collection of gods that created the whole world, including males and females. 
So when it comes to that area, it's a different topic altogether. But I want to share my revelation today with you about acknowledgement that he created you. Secondly, just give him thanks. Thirdly, you praise him. That's it. That's all he needs from us. He doesn't need your money. How can, though when it comes to personal and, and, and uh, when it comes to human beings, there are trillionaires and billionaires who invest and get more money from other people. That is on the human level. But a supernatural being with all that power, humongous power, unbelievable, incredible power, to ask you for your for your dime, for, for a 10% or for whatever, does it even make sense? It doesn't. So all that I want to share is what that dropped in me about this revelation, that all he needs from us is acknowledgement that he's, he, he's a creator and that you give him thanks and that you praise him. That's all that he needs from us. So that is why I'm saying that this is not related to anybody. This is personal. This is not related to any religious sect or group or anything. So don't misinterpret interpret what I'm talking about. Mamon cat and ko danena because sebi sebi baby if you need yeah obe can seven no bonsi ya kwa danena and basa I say a kwana si see you and so so na me can sa me me dia me can say me 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 revelation is a ye a ye dia say a di ye no and a me me can wasa I know a personal from from my own a perspective it's not about anybody I didn't go and read any book it's my personal revelation that I want to share with my viewers so it means that with that sort of rich wealth from that person who created everything, does he need anything from us apart from what I've mentioned? You think about that. So I didn't come here to hit against Titan, but I just want to share what I have just received. That does it even make sense that this supernatural, powerful person, individual who nobody has set their eyes on, before is asking you for a dime before he blesses you does it even make sense because even somewhere in the bible i don't want to, i don't want to even use the bible the person who created you it's like those who who, who created the iphone who invented the 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 the, the solar um the, the the planes and all that they know how it works and they know the lifespan of that material or that equipment that they've they've manufactured or they've invented every inventor know that know the lifespan and know the nitty-gritty the, the the information or the the sort of parts that they use to invent or manufacture that sort of even if, if, if it's a car or a plane said Echo. The number of heads that you've got. So you think about that. Does he need money from us before he blesses us? No. It's all about the mindset. If you acknowledge the fact that he's a creator and you glorify him and give him thanks all the time, that's what you get. You'll be moving on. It's a mindset. You don't need to give God money before he blesses you. That is that erroneous impression about God or about the creator of the universe is, is, is put people in poverty because they've worked and given their money to people that don't even deserve it. But they are using it as a religious economic factors to, 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 um, for their living. I'm not here to condemn anybody. I'm not here to, to uh, judge anybody, but I'm just trying to reason with the revelation that I got with my viewers. So you think about that. How can this person, how can this powerful creator of the universe, look at the millions of species, 8.7 million species on the planet Earth alone. Even some are not even yet discovered because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's said that it's up to even 10 million species on the planet Earth. When it comes to wildlife, you know, animals, vertebrae, you name it, the fishes, the birds and all that millions of species but come to us even even the wildlife are eating each other but human beings are rather behaving like wild animals 
these days as i said on the other video you just go and have a look just go and watch that so all that i'm saying to share with you today is that you don't god doesn't need your money to bless you your mindset need to shift right it's a paradigm shift to a place of thanksgiving a place of worship and a place of acknowledgement that he is the creator of the universe that he created you that is all that i'm talking about but he doesn't need your money to bless you he doesn't need your money to to give you longe longevity he doesn't need your money to 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 enhance your health he's giving you wisdom to, to sort of exercise. is giving you wisdom to select the foods that will give you that kind of healthy living. So that is what I'm talking about. It's a short video. Please analyze it. Think about it logically and see if it makes sense. But don't misinterpret it. Thank you. I'm done. Hello, viewers. I said I was done. But I remembered something which um, is very present that I want to add to what I said earlier on. Giving money to God to bless you, as your scripture says, it's like bribing God to bless you. Does God need our money? Does God need our money to bless us? It's like bribing God if they tell you to pay something like 10% or whatever for you to be blessed, for the uh, windows of heaven to open onto thy household for, 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 for blessings to rain on you. Does it even make sense? How can we bribe the, the supernatural, powerful Brahma to, to Tsiazu, powerful creator? Can you bribe God? God is not a policeman. God is not a Ghana policeman. Can you bribe God so that God will bless you with your money? Can you pay God to bless you? You, you think about it. That's why I came back. The, the powerful being who created the cherubims, the seraphims, the angels, the demons, you know, the powerful creatures, including human beings, you know, the aliens, the trillions of, of planets, you name it. Give us a brain. You, you, you see how complex this brain works. Allow people to create. Einstein and all these powerful inventors. The whole wide world. Those who brought artificial intelligence. State of the art technology. And all that. How can you pay that person to, to, to bless you? How, how can you pay that person to keep you for a longer period on earth? You think about it. Think about what I'm talking about. Can you bribe God? Paying 10% or paying something to God to bless you or sowing a seed so that God will bless you? Think about it. People are using individuals to make money. It's business. Business as usual. Religion has become a business in Africa. Think about the facts. The person who created the wealth, money, gold, oil, bauxite, manganese, platinum, titanium, Cobalt, you name it, all the sort of elements, almost about how many elements and, and minerals. And you are bribing him, sowing a seed so that he blesses you for you to progress in life. God is not a policeman. He's not a kind of policeman for you to bribe him. Can you give God money for God to bless you? So that's the revelation I'm talking about. My revelation says that just acknowledge him, thank him. And then praise him, worship him. That's it. That's the only thing he needs from us. The rest, he's given it to us. He's given us everything on the ground. And he's here. He's giving you this powerful computer here to make it in life. I'm not sure I understand. Yes, you do. So that is what I'm talking about. That's why I came back to sort of end it all. Think about it, viewers. And know that what I'm talking about is individualistic. I'm not here to attack anybody, but you think logically and reason. Makramo, I'm gone.